Alright, Travis Wayne Goodsell. I guess I don't need to turn up the volume. <laughs> Not until I'm trying to listen to it. Uh, uh, normally I, do, I don't do uh, uh, videos of regular day living as was intended or as was used originally and is still used by some people I guess uh, and, and so uh, um, the newest DVDs that I get uh, I've not been talking about those for the most part unless it had something to do with Russia needing them to get them for me <laughs> for Steven Seagal for example uh, I did finally order that one it finally became available and would be shipped in a reasonable time period. So, <laughs> thank you, Russia. Maybe. You guys are very stubborn when it comes to releasing Stevens' movies. Uh, but uh, I did also finally, uh, uh, Terminator Dark Fate came out. And this is why I was talking about this one. Uh, for uh, my video, uh, it's an apocalyptic one, uh, so it's not only a matter of uh, my concern as to when I will no longer be able to get any more videos, or DVDs, uh, one, because my local DVD store went out of business, it's gone, so I have to rely on Amazon now for all my DVD uh, purchases and uh, so uh, that's one reason the other reason is uh, it's uncertain as to whether Armageddon is going to happen and I won't be able to buy anything as nobody will be making anything either uh, but uh, uh, yeah I'm gonna have to have a, uh, a uh, Terminator marathon now uh, to watch all six movies in a row uh, and after the second one watch the Sarah Connor Chronicles uh, and so even though I guess six sort of ignores the others or something like that I'm not sure but I don't know it's bad enough that John Connor keeps changing characters <laughs> like Batman uh, but, uh, speaking of Batman I got behind on getting Joker so I got Joker as well so I've got some stuff to to watch uh, but, uh, hmm. Rachel Maddow her show tonight uh, she covered what nobody else had talked about with the documents that got released the night before the Senate impeachment started. Uh, and that was that back in August, when uh, it was first understood that the, the Ukrainian aid never got to Ukraine, uh, Republican congressmen from both the House and the Senate uh, were demanding from the White House what was going on and get them that money. And yet, those in the House, they voted no. And then here we have in the Senate uh, a situation where it's placed into their hands too weird that they just change you know they were so adamant standing up against the White House and get them this aid and now they're like oh Trump okay what have you say why is everybody cowering to Trump I don't understand it, it doesn't make sense I mean he's so easy to pick on and by picking on him, you can totally humiliate him, and he will cower. 
you know, he has no power. Nobody has to follow his orders. I don't understand why people cower to a coward like that. Makes no sense to me. Alright. So, I'm heading off to bed now. And I might be able to start the uh, LDS video series, the history, the actual history, tomorrow. <coughs> uh, so we'll see about that. I did want to do a video about the spirit for my corrected Mormonism series or playlist. Because uh, that's one uh, core doctrine that is messed up by Mormons along with faith that I've already put on that playlist. And uh, uh, that would be kind of important. When I moved into this apartment and went to the ward in this, in this area, uh, I was immediately called upon to... Uh, give the lesson in uh, elders quorum and the priesthood quorum and uh, uh, it was the teachings of the presidents uh, and it was I think it was Benson no Hunter how many years have I been here <laughs> It could be, I think it could have been Benson. Because um, I didn't do uh, uh, Monson last year. They were supposed to do Monson and they didn't because he died. Oh, 18. Ooh, wow. Man, time is flying. Okay, so Monson should have been 18, which means uh, Hinckley was 17. And Hunter was 16, so yeah, it was Benson. Uh, and uh, the lesson was on the spirit. The only problem was they were taking talks from different talks to make the lesson material, and they were merging the spirit with the Holy Ghost. <laughs> and so, uh, instead of uh, talking about both because that's what Mormons do uh, they don't uh, go beyond what the manuals say to read and and they it's like they didn't take the teacher development course or they uh, didn't care to listen <laughs> because the material given for the lesson and the lesson manuals are just a guide. You're supposed to look at the title, and if it's for a certain prophet or a speaker, yes, you need to cover only their material, not go beyond unless you're supplementing with scriptures. Uh, but you're not supposed to just read the manual for the lesson. And Mormons don't know how to teach. <laughs> Primarily because they don't know how to answer any questions uh, if there were to be actual interaction in class. Uh, and so, uh, my being experienced as a teacher, uh, I decided I'm going to select the parts about the Spirit and not talk about the Holy Ghost. Uh, and uh, see where uh, the elders are in my ward because uh, that'll give me a good understanding of where they're at in gospel knowledge and uh, I can then go from there and it was clear that the elders quorum president was trying to see if I could uh, fill the position of being the regular teacher as well so I give the lesson I, uh, I talk about the spirit and there's just blank looks they, they don't know anything about the Spirit in this ward. <laughs> For them, it's only the Holy Ghost, and that's it. We have spirit bodies, 
and then the Holy Ghost, but the spirit that makes up our spirit bodies and the Holy Ghost, they're clueless on it. They knew nothing of it. And sure enough, <laughs> I never got asked again by that elders quorum president to teach. <laughs> and then the bishop came in uh, a week or two later, uh, and uh, there was a joke about false doctrine being taught. <sighs> so, yeah, I made a good first impression in the ward. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it, it, when I did the teacher development in the older singles ward, uh, I uh, started off the class by, uh, we had an introduction first with everybody that was going to be in the different groups. and. Uh, and so I gave my uh, students uh, a, a little quiz to take home and, and fill it out. And then weren't going to be graded, I just wanted to see where they were at. And uh, so that I can tailor the lessons to their level of knowledge. And uh, oh, they were simple questions. I wasn't being complicated. They weren't trick questions, and they all failed. <laughs> I, I even made it so that there were other options in case somebody had some far-off ideas, and many of them filled it in. <laughs> That's how bad Mormons are with understanding their own religion. Oh, man. Bad news. So I, I didn't intend for this to go long. Uh, but, uh, so there is an urgent need to teach true Mormonism that is not being understood. Uh, 